Lend me your hands and greet your neighbor. Tell them a black man is greeting you. I greet you in the name of Lord. Thank you for coming. I want to throw a few words and we continue to worship. The Bible has said, when you know the truth, it shall set you. That is John 8.32. In the time I've spent preaching the gospel, I have discovered that it's the church supposed to give you the whole truth of something before anyone else gives it to you. The Israelites have discovered that it's the church and they think that it's the parent supposed to educate a child about sexual matters. Because a parent has no motive of showing the child sexual matters in any bad way. And they say that any information needs to come from the parent to the child. And it is one of the questions that they say that if your child is given to an Israel, spends with that Israel 13 years and gives them back to you, you can no longer change them. Because they have gone with them through all the books of the Taulet. Today we congregate here because we are remembering the birth of Jesus. 100% it is true Jesus was born. If we are clapping for Jesus, they will eat wholeheartedly. But one thing that I want you to take in in scriptures he was not born on the 25th of December. If you ever find any arguments about such beliefs when the theme is there that Jesus was born on December 25th it is not there in the scriptures. Do away from such arguments because your faith will be kept. Amina. Amen. 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 To fetch you a little for those who were present and those who are not present. And even those on the social media and online church we greet you may the Lord bless Let's welcome them with a mighty hand clap. In the book of Numbers, chapter 25, and verse 1 to 2, the children of Ammon could come and see when Israel was going to worship and they could put there beautiful women. And these men were getting books walking and as they were going to worship along the way where they were passing the motive was good to go to worship but their enemies would intentionally put their beautiful women Israel which was going to worship 
it would end up diverting into sexual immorality. And if you read the origin of those women, and they come from the origin of Lord, how he gave birth, or he gave birth with her. Lord got children with his children. And from there, nations came out. And some of those nations are the nations that troubled Israel with sexual immorality. Are we together? Eh, Katondali Muguru. Are we together? So that nation that was against Israel when it was going to worship, they were the grandchildren of Lord. The children that were God were Israel out of And Israel was so much perverted by the children of Moab. The Moab children come from Lord. Okay. After putting that aside, we saw that when you're on your way to worship, bad people or evil people indulge in. And when you come in Matthew 13, Jesus tells us the parable of the sower. After the sower having sown good wheat, the evil one also came and sowed in the same garden. Still, we see evil and good meeting in the same way. Amen. Bono Jano Mataya Vidimutano Jaksanga, Valava, Gezi, Nava Silvo, Nava Kungana. When you come in Matthew 25, still you'll find the foolish and wise virgins all congregating. Is there anyone still following? Me? And still, when you go to Daniel 6, from verses 10 downwards, the king declared a praying or a worshiping when they are worshiping the king not any Daniel other and Daniel opens his windows widely open in the same time to worship the Lord Jesus and we see that Daniel still we behold the good worship and the wrong worship in the same time when you go to Israel where the house of Abraham was you will find there the part of the Muslims and the part of the Christians the same house and it is originating from Agal and Sarah when they were in the same house you see that wherever there is something true there is also something false are we still together are we still together? When we come back to this particular day, there is a part of sorcery. There is also another part of declaring how Jesus was born, and it's true, he was born. And where Christianity originated from, these people put congregation on this day. And so we need to know about the truth and the life that we are living on something. So we need to know about the truth and the lies that lie on something. Ask your neighbor, do you understand this or you don't? Tell them to repeat whatever we have just spoken. So in the few minutes that I have, Christmas has a part of sorcery which I want the Christians to be keen at. First of all, avoid 
cutting trees on this day. Chigambe neighbor we wale okutema emiti. Tell your neighbor avoid cutting trees on Christmas Day. And these are the scriptures that warn us against carving Jeremiah trees. Jeremiah 10 verse 2. Bible gamba. The Bible says abama wanga abatatya katonda. The heathens that fear not God do not fear their signs. Why? They go to the forests and they get trees and they bring them and bring them into their houses. It is for the heathen. It is for sorcery. Jeremiah 10 verse 2 Do not bother by cutting a tree. In scriptures, a tree has nothing connected to it to the birth of Jesus. Tell your neighbor what has that one said. And if you did and you cut a tree, and if it is in the corner of your house, I beseech you in the name of Jesus. Before the day goes by, when you go back, carry it out. Such that you depreciate your worship without contaminating it with sorcery. Let there be someone tell me amen. In Isaiah 5520. 4520 I beg. 4520 It says that you who have survived gather yourself. Gather yourself and come. There was a certain death that was so powerful. Just like the nation of Rwanda went through a genocide. And many of them died. And also Israel has ever gone through such a time. And Jesus says, you who are preeminence, come. And that is Isaiah 45, 20. He says, they have no wisdom. They have no knowledge. Now swallow your They have no knowledge. And also touch your head. And say they, they have no wisdom. When you ask who are those people who have no wisdom? Look into your Bible. Who carry the wood? And they carry them with images and they put them in their houses. They don't have wisdom according to Isaiah 45, 20. Whenever you will see the Bible talking about trees and wood, we are being warned several times. Christmas tree now, this Christmas tree, I brought for you mine here and let it be brought here. Do not ever again put it into your house. It is an image of sorcery. And this is the Christmas tree about the Christmas tree. Out of fire. Huh. I have discovered a tree that is so much a hypocrite. Your Christmas tree. And that is the Christmas tree. First of all, it has no roots. Everywhere you will find a Christmas tree, no roots. Is it true, Reverend? You will is it true, brethren? In the whole world, Christmas tree in Amirandira. You can never find a Christmas tree that has roots. Secondly, 
It is the fruits that it gives. It is the only tree that you find fruits of different kinds. I don't know where it gets it from. I don't know how the DNA of the Christmas tree is related to the balloon. Sweet. Even a sweet. What is the connection between a sweet and a balloon? Apple. Even an apple. You know, no, no. It also sometimes has flashing lights like this, flashing. Now let me warn you. I'm talking this to wash my blood off my hands. And I speak this to immunize you never to go into arguments that you are not sure about. Say, speak big man. Okay. Write down these generations. Now we are talking about the nations that have ever been superpowers ruling this world. The first nation was Egypt. Write it down. The second nation Assyria. was Assyria. The third nation Babylon. Was Babylon. Why am I putting a, a tone on Babylon? Kubanga Babylon is your joke. Sanga December, Babylon, Mutan, and Nakuzomes, Babylon, Mutan, or Mesuguat, will come in every joke. Sanga. Because in Babylon, that is where you will trace December 25th. Bachi and Jagala. Are you still together? Wanga, you make it Dakao. The star fourth nation. The fourth nation Bamedi. Where the media. And the Pels, those ones also uh, were in combination. And the fifth nation Greece, was Greece. Then Iriomukaga. And a sixth nation. Ngate Yesu Azali Wakumrembo Gugomukaga. And Jesus was born in that particular generation. Yaliroma. Was Rome. Jagala Mwegend is the Venchusama Robozo Kumawanga Vidi. I want you to take in when my turn changed on two different nations. Babylon. Babylon. December Vidi Mutano Jesangiwa. That is where we find December twenty fifth. Omukolo Guama nyo gwech ti when yo gwa kolewanga nyo mu Babylon. A very big function, so honorable, was always performed in Babylon. Ate Yesu azali wa kumulembe guava Loma. And Jesus was born on the generation of Loam. Eje milembe jimu kwe yuja wangarange miyaka visatu. Some of those generations used to take around 300 years. Bina. 400 years of reign. Katima katika Babylon. Now, between Babylon, when this function of the tree, the Christmas tree, and worshipping of different nations going on, many years passed by before the reign of the Romans. By the time of the rule of the Roman Empire, Jesus was born at the rule of the Roman Empire. Now, if we are to count physically, December 25th, and Jesus, December 25th, came before Jesus. And that is where you also find the Christmas trees. Are we together? Ask your neighbor, do you understand the black man or you are hearing noise? Can we continue a little? Okay. Kabino. Write down these. Wandike katonda zinga sinziwa mubuli mulemba bade katondo mukazi. Write down the God that has been worshipped in all generation, and that is the God who is a woman. Good day. 
You'll find this goddess in 1 Kings 11.5. The generations, the first generation was Egypt. Egypt had a goddess that they used to worship. Upon every generation, as we have been naming them, this goddess has just been transforming into other names. And in one generation, she was ever called the goddess Diana. Muchiangagara. Muchiangagara. Do you still love me? Let's confess the words of the grace Grace Our Father in heaven You don't even want to confess those This goddess has always been having many followers on every generation. Now, on the generation of Babylon, some of these things you may not find them in the Bible, but they are recorded in history. Now, in the reign of Babylon, this thing was ignited. And they charged their sorcery, and it was so powerful. Which God? The one in 1 Kings 11.5. First Kings 11, 5. Astolos. What you say? She's called Astolos. Astolos. That is a goddess. And for every generation, he has been having people who have been worshipping her. So one of the people who have ever worshipped her Write this name It was Semilais And that was also person This Semilais was the person Upon whom this goddess Had come upon Well done brethren Semilais Chigambi Waye mama wanimulodi And it is said that Semilais is the mother of Nimilod. What I'm speaking, you may not pay attention, but you will need them tomorrow. Yesterday I received calls from different pastors. Pastors, I received calls from different pastors. That pastor, repeat, repeat, please, the other message that you spoke about the Christmas tree, and I told them, where well, they are I'm speaking, yes, did you write no? And I told them, to and some of them got the recordings. Now, for you have a chance, pay attention and be immunized. Astoros. Astoros. This goddess, Astoroth, at the reign of the Roman Empire, was the one who was named as Mother Mary. We shall touch that also. Let's first fetch it from the other side. Can we continue? Who was the chief sorcerer? Semilais. That was Semilais. Semilais yali muntu. Semilais was a person Musamizemukuru. and a chief sorcerer we, and gave birth to a son Nimrod. 
and they were rich sorcerers. That is Genesis 10 from 9, 8 downwards. And the Bible shows that in their sorcery, with their witchcraft, they were rich and wealthy. And when you read Genesis 10, the Bible shows that and they will talk about Nimrod, how he gave birth to so and so, so and so. And they built over ten cities. Now, among the cities that you will find when they built, there is a city of Nineveh. Do you remember anything about Nineveh? Can we continue? Who was sent to go to Nineveh? He was sending them to those sorcerers. Well done, brethren. They were the cities of Nimrod. They were wealthy but witchcraft. When Nimrod grew up, through that sorcerer and witchcraft, the spirits they were worshipping commanded them that the mother should sleep with Nimrod and Nimrod slept with the, with the mother and the mother conceived and they begot a child that was called Tammuz Tammuz we will find Tammuz in Ezekiel 8 14 now this sorcerer and witchcraft was boosted and history says that this child that was begot between a father a mother and her son what is was the name Tamuz. Tamuz was the child. It is said that this child was born on December 25th. But always when an evil person is being born, even good people are born. But that is what history shows. And because of that witchcraft, Tamuz Azaribwa. When Tamuz was begotten, this worship of sorcerer and witchcraft was so much boosted. Having this incest of a mother sleeping with a child with great sorcerer and witchcraft. And it is said that lies and is deceit got a very big platform and many people follow. And the multitude of people does not show that they are following that truth. Because the way to destruction is big and many people see it. Are we together? Let's cut a few things short. It is said that when Nimrod was dying, they had gone to practice to make a certain function in form of witchcraft, but in a, in a world of hunting. Remember, even here in Uganda, our sorcery is practiced in different angles. There is sorcery on the seas, on the waters. There is also sorcery of the heavens. There is also sorcery on the mountains called there is also sorcery of hunting called Dungu. You find rich and wealthy people going on this function of sorcery, but when they are in the way of hunting. Are we still together? Even these ones had gone to do a function of sorcery but in the way of hunting. And a wild pig killed Nimrod. 
And it was very bad upon the followers. The mother, at the same time, the wife of Minimlod, when the followers had lost hope, he stand, she stands up and lies to them again. Because it had come to a time when Nimrod and the mother had been promoted to being gods. And Katonda because the mother was uh, called the mother of gods because she was the one giving birth to Nimrod and Tammuz who are yeah, also Nimrod gods. And they confirmed Nimrod as God the father. And Tammuz was God the son. Ask your neighbor. Can we continue or we stop there? When Nimrod died, Mama now the mother lied to them. It is true, Nimrod died. But his spirit resurrected and he seated in a tree. And people took keen look at the tree that was planted. Whenever the birthday could reach, of the child that was born, where we say it, Buli muntunga ino gendo kutemo muti o mutu deni muro di ajavere wa mulete mnyumba vere o kumazali wa. Every person would have to go and cut a tree to bring Nimrod in a house to be present on Era the birthday. And to them as the sorcerers, they would give these three gifts. But when they were giving to Nimrod who was seated in this tree, but the little of heard about the Bible the tree has no connection at all about the birth of Jesus Christ are we together ask your neighbor do you understand all they are being shouting at you and the celebration of that child being born around from the dates of 14th walekeranga okufugwe teka lyonna eri mukazi wo obeteka wafuka nga wadembe nga to kyaina wo buli omugwa ayagala gwe yegatta na ye the limits between a husband and a wife would go away and you could have sex with whoever you wanted kubanga kwabanga buono nifo bwekike kya wagulwenye because it was so much folly of the highest order jeva le kabulu ganda well done brethren when people having taken good care of the tree and the animal that killed Nimrod and they started eating it consuming it in high numbers because it had killed Nimrod let's be truthful brethren if there be any person who has died on a village what animal is killed so slaughtered so much when someone has died but at goats there don't we have cows the animals that are slaughtered so much when someone has died pork Speak. I also consume it, but I don't want to consume it Chuki in that rate. Turn to your neighbor. Have you been eating it at that rate? They have given it so many names. Uh, to fire, to fire, to fire. Uh, to fire. Uh, to fire. Uh, to fire. Uh, to fire. Tambula 
Digenda miaka analilia wu Ngambia kuimira sina gamba kutule Kati maga maga Zibu chonchimanyi Obalavi Wacho vadoja wa Obalagefiga Kama kuomusa Nino nsubizanti kuno mwako guja ojira Chiku ze Kombese pichi echo Chiwe chefu mbila ni chikomba Kupa mwaka fana nyinga Chikude mse pichi ya chafu mbia Binyebwa ne, 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 ne chinyanje chikalu Chikokola chimalira madara Chika asijabi kutavu kusika Kukuse ingalo wechi Chitaba ni chani Kale kanku veko Ida sinache nko gede konto na bakuwasa Let's all confess Nimrod. Israel. Israel. Kumulembenga Yesu agenda kuzaliwa. At the time when Jesus was about to be born. Binonga biyaliyo dokuva kumulembenga Babiloni. When the things of the Christmas tree had happened after even before Babylon. Mulembenga yongera kumulembenga chokwadira Babiloni. And what generation came after Babylon? Bamedi. They were the Medi. Binonga webiri. And these things were happening. Mulembe chokwa didi aba medi, aba yonani, webiri. And also these things were still happening. Loma nejia. And the Romans came. Labio webiri. When the Christmas tree was still around. At Yesu ageno kuzali wa. And by the time Jesus was born. Bionga webiri. These things were still present. Aba Israeli. The Israels. Baga ba nengiri na aba Loma. Shared the gospel with the Romans. Roma because the Romans were ruling the whole world by then. Those who have ever gone to Israel will ascertain this. Every place that you read up about it, the, Roma, the, Rome, the Romans have a, a, a building there. Pure. Since they had control over the whole world, they could take every territory and build whatever they wanted. And when you reach there, you feel sorry. As if you were touring things of the Ecclesia. Why? Because they were the ones ruling the world. The Roman Catholic religion took over all the prime places. Now when they get the gospel to take it all, Roma, the Romans having got the Christians and they are taking all the Christianity and they got a congregation that they had very many people with three images. Uh, Tamuzi bu yaliya fa baba gamanti ya tu demu njuba erane batani so koko kusinze njuba. And when Tamuz died, they told them that he is now seated in the sun and they started worshiping the sun. Katika fana njuba ya biashara bantu ba bisinza. So they remained worshiping their image. Loma mukwagalo kuba yako ebi fana njebi omubu samize nebi intu ebi dala wali wau utalo gaba ina ba we ayo bi fana njebi omubu kuli style. For the Roman Catholic to take them away from these images that they had. It was a war, and they had to give them other images in exchange. Now, in the place of the other mother who was a sorcerer, in the place of the other mother who was a sorcerer, similize, Baba wa mucha mama Maria. They exchanged it with Mother Mary. Mucha ni mulodi eyeva kakunyena zalo mwana. And to ni mulodi. Baba wa mchia, Yosefu. They exchange it with Joseph. Mchio mwana azali wa abili mutano. And to the child that was born on the 25th. Baba wa mchia, Yesu. They were exchanged, they exchanged it with Jesus. Yebifana nyebi satuwebi okujia mkerezia. And that is how the three images ended up. Tiaba samiza wa aliba chuse. Now these sorcerers that had transformed. Gababa wa dembirala. When they had given them other images, they joined Christianity. Amen. 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 And then 
they brought again this day when the born the child was born. They began but it's okay. Kuruna kuruolmule kateke ko misaya kuristo. Kuruna kuruerum. And they said that on the same day, let's also put Christ's mass. Christmas And when you confess Christmas, you are confessing two words for Christ is mass. You are simply saying Christ is mass. Kati abambwe babanga bagenda okusinza kuri okwemiti kola kutya kwenda. Ngero lwale lwo regulo bechigenda okubera. And to others as they were going to worship the trees to go and practice uh, sexuality as today it will be Aba Christayo bate kakona ba mise yawe basinze Yesu The Christians also put their mass to worship Christ Mu Bible yo nate muli mu kigambo Christmas te kirimu In the whole Bible there is no such a word as Christmas Nebwe netu kanga tuleme kungana But whenever it comes student we congregate Ebi kwatagana no kungana batulagira kungana nga buli luna about congregating, we were commanded to congregate every day. Naso se bagamanti mu Babylon. I first told you that in Babylon. Kabaka we are laying angiri that teri kusava katonda mulala yena. When the king announced that there is no worshiping any other god. Ye Daniel mukaga kumi Daniel na gula madisa na sabira dale mirundi esatu buli runa. And Daniel opened the windows and he prayed three times a day instead. Tujia kusigala nga nga tukungana. We shall remain fellowshipping. Netwe wale mikolo biokusamida abalala jibate kamu. But let's avoid other functions of sorcery that are imported into this day. Njabasa. I will request you. Buli yale somu timu nyumba. Whoever left or brought a tree in the house. Natuna bakuli ya mede. For you eat today, put it outside and say bye bye. And lastly, you read Jeremiah 52 31. Babylon. In Babylon, whenever this day would come, the king had authority to release any prisoner. And if you could read there, one of the things that they could do there in Babylon, because it was a very big day or the birthday of one of their gods, first of all, the prisoners were let go because it was a big day. And secondly, it was a day to exchange garments. And one who could take off the old garment and take on new clothes. And thirdly, it was a day of feasting. And fourthly, it was a day of boasting around. If we see those things, eating, exchanging kwegulumiza boasting could be releasing prisoners is what we don't have but those three are they present or not I request you brethren let's continue to eat but not eating because of that day I know of a certain family they remained their number is still eight but when that day comes the spirit of eating greed comes upon people and kilo, they buy what they want tano, zanyama. five kilograms of beef Nya, zanyama yambuzi. and five kilograms of beef and a, a rib of pork. But when their number is still eight, that what, which falls upon people to start eating more. May the Lord release you from that that you become free. Amen. Putting on clothes. Don't be on the remote. What will I put on on Christmas? Just put on as usual. Don't put on because of the But clothe yourself to glorify the Lord every day according to where you are going. 
if you avoid eating putting on new clothes and getting excited you will worship god in truth those others who do not fear god those are the driving forces and all religions are now full in their obligations putting on expensive clothes going into the congregation to pray but even without a bible but to show off the expensive clothes let's escape and be saved in this perverse generation put your hands in the air and say Jesus say Jesus I want to worship you in truth and spirit. I want to love you. I want to worship you. I surrender myself. Everyone stand up on your feet. Raise up your voice and thank God for the words you have. We have seen families torn apart. My husband has not bought for me a Christmas cloth. We have seen parents losing their temper. They have not given me food for Christmas. Become free when you know the truth. It shall set you free. Oh, <laughs> 
Katiga for your Galakuloko Katambro Gemma Soano. We a yellow coca in the Koyuma. Where have you got Daniel? See your soul as Daniel. Ababinga Bakunga and your sins, they be fun and your navy and Trevi Cham. When the evil people congregate to worship idols, when God is Daniel, a wild ox sins and oxabok truth. Perceive yourself as Daniel giving in the true and to one is an egalism and Bobango Lima Katiga for God Croca Yabu. If you are in our midst and you want to give your life to Christ, come. These people who do not love Jesus, even some nations confess that there is no God. But when it comes to this day, they marry. No, no, okay. Even those who have never accepted him to become their savior. How do they rejoice and jubilate upon someone they don't want to be their Lord? Could be they are hiding and camouflaging in something. You who gave your life Kakasa to Christ. Ascertain that you give in your whole voice as you worship God in truth and spirit. It is time for you to open up your spiritual windows and worship God in truth and spirit. Let's go in front with the worship. Echisacho chinsanze na wendi Omo nafu no pa omo lambo Echisacho Echisacho chinsanze na wendi Omo nafu Majesty, 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 Yes, Yes, I 
Pedra Negra Teve que se enganhar Abate A tua cara negra E te anima Te chama Na ia te brilha
Jesus. 